So yes, Sissy does have cancer. We're not sure anything yet, except for the fact that the thoracic surgeon showed us her PET scans. Um, the nodule that is lit up wasn't even there six months ago. This is a totally new thing. And um, there's a lymph node nearby that is lit up also, and it is so bright. Like picture holding a candle flame that's lit up, um, that would be the nodule. Then picture a little LED light, and that would be her lymph node. So that is so much brighter. I don't know what that means. We don't know anything yet. She has to go for a stress test tomorrow, pulmonary function test on Tuesday. Um, and then the following week is the procedure to grab a biopsy and he's biopsying the lymph node. Um, he didn't say anything about the nodule yet. I guess we just need to, he said he's going to grab from that lymph node and some other lymph nodes that are not lit and I guess do a comparison. This will tell us what type of cancer, what stage she's at. He's guessing stage two. Um, and it's obvious, it, I shouldn't say obviously. Um, and this would be non-small cell. So that's good news. But, um, you know, kind of what we're wondering, Sissy and I right now is, is this a metast, did this metastasize to here? since the lymph node is so bright and the nodule isn't is there cancer somewhere else you know your mind starts running around because and, and and obviously this is a new territory for us we don't know what we're dealing with so the last couple days have uh been getting our minds wrapped around this and um yeah, there's been a bunch of crying. I haven't talked to her yet today, but it's been, you know, sadness and anger. And so it almost seems like a grieving process. That's how I kind of feel. Um, but not, I don't know. Just because there's so many emotions and you don't know how to deal with it, I guess falling into that kind of process is a process your body knows what to do with and I keep stressing that it's okay to feel the feelings it's okay to feel sad it's okay to be mad it's okay to ask why me it's okay you wouldn't have these feelings if you you know if they weren't given to us so feel your feelings acknowledge them process them be okay with them. You're allowed. That's all I can. I keep saying that, but it's true. Feel your feelings. You're allowed to have the negative feelings, but they cannot outweigh positive. They cannot. I'm rambling, but that's always what I do when I am so unsure of what is happening. Like I can feel my my muscles being very tight, and I am. I'm worried. I'm worried that this is an aggressive cancer. I am worried. But he seemed to be saying it's stage two. Like he's been in the game long enough to, I guess, even without pathology yet, you know, he can kind of, he has an idea of what's going on. So I think as far as all the odds and stuff, I think, I think they're good, I think. But again, we haven't done any pathology, don't know anything yet, don't know what kind of oncologist she's going to need. We have no idea about treatments yet. So this is everything that's going to be coming up. Um, well, it's still an adjustment to think when, and then you don't want that to be at the center of her, her life, though. Even though this is going to be a big thing, like I said to her, you're going to have to keep your life as normal as possible. So hopefully 
will be able to do that. You know, depending. Depending on how she feels. Everything is going to depend on everything else. So many outside influences. And inside. With the chemo. And how is that going to affect her. And what kind she gets. And how often. So this is all new, new, a new reality, and that's okay. I think we're gonna do okay. So, I'll update later. Bye, guys.